Yeah, I got a pretty cool one today. GMC Sierra, old old body style. Got some got a tire on it and some race stars and pretty cool truck. Uh, it's got a 5.3 in it. Kind of dirty under the hood, so it's gonna need to change that intake out. He needs a he needs a better intake, definitely. That is probably gonna hurt some performance there. Um, sucking in a bunch of hot air. It needs to have a cold air box somewhere. So um, 5.3. It's got a cam. Um, headers 480e all the good stuff so um i think he's having a problem with it running bad with the coolant temp sensor plugged in so that's why it's unplugged right now so i'm downloading the tune right now i'm gonna look at it see what's up with it see what's going on with it see if we can get this thing working good so let's have fun with this one today uh well i had to swap the pcm out because the previous tuner locked it awesome job dude you, you, your secret's safe with a 5.3. Yeah, nobody can copy your work. <laughs> what a joke. Anyway, getting them squared away right now, so. All right, so, got a flash, got the, got the PCM swapped out. Um, I, had a, I had a Z28 PCM laying around.
six percent, eight percent, so we're as good. Uh, before it was like fifteen percent, so I just lowered it by like ten, uh, like across the board, and then uh, go from there. So let's go, go driving around. Everything is going pretty good. Uh, got some spots to work on in the upper RPM range, around thirty-two hundred to four thousand. pressure up I just did it on the shift pressure modifier one two I just put it at 10 across the board so it'll add 10 psi to the current uh, table there so we'll see if that actually helps or not if it does I'll do it in the in the table itself and just kind of kind of massage it a little bit but uh, I don't I don't know it didn't, it didn't seem right to me so I got the, the shift timing is good and everything so uh, I'll just see uh, how it goes on this one. So, start scanning again, reset the long term fuel trims, and then uh, keep going. It, 
if it doesn't want to adjust, I'll probably just leave it at speed density until he gets a cold air intake, like an actual good intake and stuff for it. I think it'll be a lot better that way. Because, I mean, it, it's not worth really tuning, you know, if it's going to just keep on being stupid. So, or, you know, it doesn't have uh, good data. So, um, I'm gonna finish this thing up uh, and plug the trans a little bit, some more. I think it's pressures. Talked to the customer last night a little bit. Um, he said uh, this trans only has 5,000 miles on it. So, okay. I didn't see anything wrong with the tune either. So, I even I even sent it to another tuner buddy of mine. You know, I was like, hey man, you know, maybe. maybe you can see something that I ain't or, you know, something, you know, I always have a second set of eyes on something and, uh, <clears throat> he didn't see anything either. So, uh, I guess we'll just play the pressure a little bit and then, uh, see if we can get it, uh, to that firmness again. I am going to swap out that PCM and see exactly how much firmness the customer was talking about. Cause my level of firmness compared to somebody else's is probably different. So, um, So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do today. And then uh, I still have to check for an O2 bomb. I still haven't even done that yet. So, uh, oh, she's a little lean on my startup. According to this. Oh no, okay, this is long term fuel trips. Okay, I always go for this, it doesn't work. <laughs> but it's, it's got a floor shifter, so. All right, let's go uh, let's dial this sucker in. I 
figured out it was a uh, quart low. Um, it's still real soft and one and two shit. That fluid looks burnt or dirty. Like, I mean, it looks pretty bad. Um, even though the customer said that it's only got 5,000 miles on it, it doesn't look like good fluid. So I don't know if the previous tune on it was burning it up or what, but, uh, I still have my PC in a minute. I, I will swap back to the other PC and just to double check everything, but it was a quart low. So I'm going to bump the pressure up a little bit on the one, two shift and that's all I can really do with it. I mean, I, I don't know what else to do with it. So it's just, uh, it is what it is, I guess. But um, everything else is actually pretty good. It's got a it's got a slight exhaust leak, but I don't I don't think it's really affecting anything on the um, on the tune. It's uh, it's after the O2 sensor, so it's totally fine. It's just annoying. So let me get this thing flashed again. Bump the pressure up a little bit, and then I don't think I'm going to do a wide open auto pull on this thing just because I don't really trust the transmission. So um, I'm gonna have him do that. Um, I'm gonna have him uh, just see what his thoughts are on it. You know, he said it's not a daily driver or anything, which, but I don't like messing people's stuff up, you know, even though I know something's hurt on it or anything like that. I just don't like doing that stuff. So, my personal opinion, I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not gonna do what I'm gonna pull on this thing. Like, I don't want to. Um, if he wants to, he can, he's more than welcome to. He can drive it, I'll log it and stuff. I just, I don't feel like doing that stuff. So, um, I've gotten on it a little bit, but it, just to test the pressure, you know, but it, it's still kind of like was real lazy between the one, two shifts. So I just didn't really like it, but let me, uh, let me bump this pressure up and see, uh, what it does here.
windy and cloudy. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, I think, so kind of sucks. I think there's a car meet tomorrow. I thought about going and recording some stuff, but if it's going to rain, I ain't going. Man. I ain't that about it.